so you remember in the last episode where I had like oh I don't know 3.7 million dollars and now you're probably wondering why we only have 31,000 left well what happened was well you'll have to wait until later to see what happened but right now we're going to try to make some of that money back now I'm taking the truck wow one of these days I might actually be able to make that turn we're going to take the truck and trailer down and check to see if we have any pig food to sell um we should have hopefully maybe perhaps and then after I get everything sold off we're going to take a little trip wow so apparently the grass is a little wet and I just killed some corn we're doing really awesome right now yeah anywho so we'll take a little trip and we'll see just what we want to do today because there is a ton of stuff that needs to be done and I am not doing another mega harvest that took forever I think the the time last was like I don't know 30 minutes but that was at a time speed of like 7.5 and I only recorded half of the harvest so yeah we're not doing that again but what we are going to do <laughs> this wow okay so apparently I have like no traction whatsoever we're going to check see how much spud activity we have here Oh, we still have barley and corn. And a lot of sweet potatoes. Okay, we have... Wow. Holy... Um... Huh. Well, that changes some things. I do believe we're going to keep part of that pig food for the farm. So, this could take a while. Okay, that took a lot longer to fill up than I thought. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the trailer back to the farm. We're going to keep that pig food. And <laughs> we're going to go sell the other pig food. I have not sold a million liters of pig food yet, I don't think. I think the most I've sold is 700,000 liters? I mean, it'd be one heck of a payday to sell both. It really would, but... Um, yeah. So, get this over there. Drop it. And then we'll go sell the truck of pig feed. Oh, God. This thing really needs some help. Um, and then in a couple days, we should be making compost. Isn't that uh, fascinating? We also have sugar to sell. So it would be the typical 500,000 liters of sugar because that's all it can produce at one time. So we'll be grabbing that up. Um, and then I guess we'll buy some pigs. Not exactly what I was planning on doing today, but that'll do it's actually gonna be pretty sweet that's gonna be I don't know shouldn't cost us that much well it's gonna cost us a fortune but I mean I've already got the food so, and 
we know we can produce a ton of sugar beets. We know that I have enough sugar beets already at the pig food factory and I got corn planted, I got wheat planted. I should have checked to see uh, how much barley is over there because there should be quite a lot of barley over there too. Hmm. My goal is to get the pig food factory pretty much full. You know, so it's producing all the time. But that is kind of impossible. Once it is full of a product, I plan on taking product over to the flour mill again and producing flour, but we just have not got to that part yet. Here we go, big money. And of course, this is still on normal, so... If we was playing on easy, that'd probably be worth like six million right there. <laughs> All right, now we'll roll over here to the sugar mill. Oh, we don't have any sugar beets over here, but we do have sugar. I have a million three in sugar beets in storage. So I'm not really worried about that. We'll bring sugar beets over here as we get them. Well, we have them now, but you know what I mean. We're not going to worry about it today. Come on, Daddy needs a new combine. pigs I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the combine first now we are going to go ahead and use yet another cheater combine the reason why we're doing this is well it's quite simple really it's just easier I'll buy that Need corn hitter. I don't know if we can go with that. No, we can't go with the widest header because it's um not that big. I think that's the one we have to go with. So 10.6. Now we'll see a corn editor. Yeah. Have to go with that one. But that's taken care of. So now we can spend the rest of the money on pigs. Yeah. We're not going to spend all of it on pigs. So we are going to spend a lot on pigs. One of the things we are going to do is put a silo over there that accepts sugar beets. Or not sugar beets, but pig feed. So I can empty out that trailer. So that 
Well, we have the trailer. Turn. Good lord. I don't see us buying any more land right now. Because I do need to do equipment upgrades. We need those pretty bad. And we need more equipment. So. It's ridiculous the amount of equipment we have right now. I guess it's not ridiculous, but it seems pretty crazy. See, there's one of our cornfields. Nope, that's not corn. That's uh, wheat, I think. I don't know. I'm too fast. Could be wheat or barley. And I'm wanting to get cattle soon. So we're probably going to start with the production of cow feed here in Oh, that might be our next step. And I really just need hay and silage, I think, because it's already full of corn. We'll check that real quick. That's full of corn, so we just need hay and silage. Well, I'll be starting to produce uh, quite a bit of that. Which means I'm going to have to buy a tether. I think that's a good spot for that silo right there. Oh, we have this over here. Nah, I think I'm going to put the silo up there. So first things first. Oh yeah, that's plenty. I could almost squeeze that in there. Right here in the back. Almost. Could flip it like that. Well, I guess we're just going to go right here in the middle of the yard. No, I'm an idiot. There. And how much does that allow? They will put two of them. And we're going to need straw. I want to say this is the water. I don't really remember, so we're going to have to get a tanker down here. And see, that's where you put the water. Okay. Oh, we can only do 100 pigs? No.
That's rather inconvenient. Is it actually working, I wonder? Probably not. Cool. Now we just gotta figure out a different way of feeding them, because that's just not gonna work. Not to mention I have to get a straw down there yet. Alright, so I said that we needed to take a trip, but here we are. This is where most of our money went. Remember how I said I was going to have to build a bridge? But, uh, anyways, this is what we built. Just a little grain place, you know, blah, blah. We got this field here and these two fields over here. So when I say I'm not worried about pig feed, I'm really not worried about pig feed. We are going to be harvesting the wheat and the corn for the first time or first start. And then in storage, we have One million three hundred eleven thousand liters of sugar beets right now. We're good. But what we don't have is A, this stuff put away. And B, we do not have grass. We do not have straw. We do not have silage. The most important thing right now is getting the straw so that we can start making poo. And seeing as how I'm going to need grass and silage as well, I think the best place to start is over at the other farm. But we'll get this put away real quick. I primarily just wanted to show you what we got going on over here. We do have fertilizer spreader, lime spreader. We have a John Deere plow or disc. Um, we haven't. Wow. We have another case planter and that pull through barn. And we do have two new case tractors as well. Now I had to sell one of our other tractors. I'm not really sure how I feel about that nonsense yet. But I had to do it in order to, wow. 
to get this place set up. And I plan on upgrading those tractors in the future anyhow. Now the beet harvester is over here. And here's our new two new case tractors. They're pretty nice. That's not what we're going to be in today. Unfortunately, why are these in the barn? And why am I getting that in? Well, I will need it eventually. We just backed out. Ah. As I was saying, I'll go ahead and back them out because I don't need them falling through the barn floor. Hey, look, I got a ladder. Now, one cool little thing is we do have um, corn over here to harvest as well, but our uh, TMR silo thing is completely full of corn, which means all the corn produced here is going to the ethanol plant, where we'll be making ethanol and corn syrup. Whatever is left over from that, if there is any left over corn, that will go to the pig food factory. Or perhaps flour mill. I haven't decided yet. Does flour mill take that? I don't even know. Let me throw stuff on the floor and make all kinds of noise. Yep, flower plant does take corn. Got my little cheat sheet here. <laughs> Got tired of looking it up in the uh, logs. So all this over here is grass. We'll be making a lot of hay, a lot of silage. I figure out of the fields here. It's amazing how many times I had to turn the grass back on. But out of the fields here. And just turn back off screw it. I believe we'll sell the silage off fifty one fifty two. We'll keep silage off fifty forty nine and we'll keep hay off twenty eight. Like I said, right now, I, I definitely want to get straw. Which presents another interesting problem. I'm going to have to shred these bales in order to put them in the TMR thingamajiggy. Unless the TMR thingamajiggy has a uh, bale trigger. I don't know if it does or not. It does. Outstanding. If not, uh, it'll be another problem. I guess we'll find out together. Then again, there is one other option. I could simply get a collector trailer to collect enough to make TMR or to feed said piggies and cows because we'll need straw for cows too but if I get a collector wagon I can collect what I need for that all except for silage dang 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 okay you know what we'll cross that bridge when we get some water but if I get a collector wagon for the straw and the hay, that'll take care of that major diflugalty there. 
So we will no longer be diflugled. We'll be able to move on. Move forward and thus we shall produce TMR. Theoretically. Or we could completely crash the game and completely annihilate my computer. Granted, that's a worst case scenario, but it is an option. As you can see, I went with Profit Realism here. We got the Yard Annihilator 1000 following the Combine. It's going to pick up 100 or 150,000 liters of straw. As that's realistic. Um, and then for silage, instead of like, you know, beating my bush, trying to do this the hard way. Why, why is there two of these? Hmm. One of these is not like the other, but I don't know which one. Anywho. So, for silage, we're simply going to go with this somewhere. Why is this? I'm so confused by this. I don't know which one's which. I think I'm going to go with the first one. I don't even know if it matters. Anyways, so we shall put in silage production somewhere, preferably where those plows are currently at. Damn. As I was saying, I'm going to move the plows out of the way and we will put the grass fermenter 9000 in we shall put uh, three of them in because we can no other really reason this all has to do with the mathematics of that collector wagon and my OCD so we shall utilize three gigantic fermenters and then once the silage or the grass is turned into silage we will be making TMR again if I knew if that had a uh, a bell trigger that would solve a lot of issues but we'll find that out later so back to global company fermenter 9000 no, that is not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. The one there. One there. And. One here. And then because I don't like the weird concrete texture. I don't care about that back there, but good enough. Now, let's go check on our grass annihilator 1000. It still has a ways to go. Okay, the forge. Wagon of complete awe and chaos and fathoms of whatever is full. So we're going to go uh, take this crap over to the pigs so they can crap because we need a whole lot of crap. And we also need a whole lot of straw if we're going to make compost. So what we need, we need 25% crap. And 75% straw. That's a lot of straw. And a lot of crap. So. We are going to definitely have to basically store all the straw. 
At least we're not gonna get any quick money off straw no more. Hmm. For shame, for shame. Anywho. At least this thing shouldn't try to climb through the, uh... The ceiling. Whoa, Betsy. Whoa. You act like you got a lot of weight back there. The good thing that those uh, things are magical. <laughs> so realistic. <laughs> Why can't I drop straw? Isn't there a place? Ah, there we go. Really? That's it? That can't be right. Well, okay. I guess... I guess I'll do. Okay, well. We should have a turd before long. Wow. Come on. Get through there. Squeeze. Ah! Did not get guinea. No! How dare you get difugled here. Come on. There we go. That's the problem I always have with these barns. Not quite tall enough. Quite, not quite wide enough. I mean, they're really nice otherwise. Come on, Betsy. You can do it. You don't over there. Yeah. Um. You have my silo in the back. Thus, you should be able to hold straw. Very weird. Yep, that straw right there. So, why you no take straw? Well, this just gets better and better. I get close enough to this, it should share. Ah! Boy, we are having major dive easy today.
still won't work. No, it's okay. This is not quite close enough to share silos, but doesn't matter. It'll work for what we need. Anyways, the pig food factory is, or not pig food, but the uh, the pig poo factory. <laughs> oh, I really wish I could just. Disable my neighbor's truck. A little piece of crap truck he thinks sounds all so awesome. Anyways, we got the poo mooking. Which is what we wanted to do today. And then tomorrow. Or the next episode. We will be working on this grass in order to start making silage for TMR. So until then, y'all. Happy farming. And uh, thanks for stopping by.